All right, guys. What up? We are back with part two. Yeah. So this is a spoiler discussion. We're going to talk Get about some things it. that we saw with the movie. Spoil. If you, if you have not seen the non-spoiler version, go ahead and hop to that, yeah. and you can do that. But if you have seen our review for one, this requirements, our review oh, yeah. and the movie, then you're where you should be at. Oh, yeah. Okay? Let's talk about it. We're going to get into it. You're welcome here, okay? Yeah. But there are some rules, as you know. If you're new to the channel, if we make you laugh or smile at any point in the video, either from now to the end, mm -hmm. you got to give us a like, all right? Yeah, bam. If we make you think right or frown or, well, yeah, any of those, any <laughs> thoughts in your mind, go ahead and comment. We want to know. And if you disagree with us, we will let you know why you are wrong, okay? Because okay. we're always right, all right? Yeah. We are the authority. Yeah. The authority. No. Authority. <laughs> Obey my thoughts, eh? right. <laughs> On the subject matter. Yeah. Now, so we went to go see Jurassic World. Jurassic World. The. I forgot what it was. What the was Claw. It? The. Uh, uh, Forbidden Kingdom. Forgotten the Fallen Kingdom. Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. We just saw it. We, yeah. we didn't memorize them. Sorry. It's all good. Right. Um. So there's some things that we like. This didn't didn't like. We just kind of want to talk about it. it. Might be some spoilers. We try. We don't want to spoil everything. We're not gonna be like he died. Yeah. But you know, we just want to talk about some stuff. All right. Yeah. So. It's all good. Um. Let's start with your favorite part. Your my favorite, favorite parts. parts. Yeah. I mean, some of my favorite parts is I, I, I kind of uh, I'm happy about the volcano thing. You know, uh, they had an opportunity for most of these dinosaurs to die. Let's put them in a volcano and let's kill them. I didn't like the volcano thing. I, I, I did like it. I did like it. It's very cliche. Uh, yeah, it, it, it made it like, you know, okay, not a meteor strike, but, you know, very similar for these dinosaurs to die in that way. And then, you know, when most of them made it out or whatever ones made it off on the boat, we did see that long neck, which kind of got up on its legs and it was like really sad. <laughs> That, I'm sorry. A, a, a that was funny. It was fucked up. It was. I, pardon me, but I mean, it was messed up. It was pretty messed up, and it's just like, oh, I'm melting kind of thing. And oh. that that was a really cool scene. The shot was dope. Yeah, it was. Dope. It was a good shot. It was a good shot. It didn't make me cheer, you I no, was. No. I was dying. It was like, like damn, that's messed up. It's like, oh, you guys leaving without me. <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I didn't like the island or the volcano just because I'm like. How big is this goddamn island? Yeah, I, right. I'm yeah. like, is it just like, and they and they made that perimeter in the water too, like yeah. a huge perimeter for that thing. So I, I didn't really get it. It it, it, it didn't it, was it didn't huge. work for me. And it's like, how do you know? Why are you even building this on an active volcano? Did you not do research? <laughs> like, like exactly. Why don't we choose an island that it, it doesn't even have a volcano on it? Ex exactly. That's that was my issue with this movie. It was that. It it made it seem as if the first one wasn't thought out too right, too right. well. Uh-huh. Uh and it just it was a lot of like details that just didn't add up. Yeah. Uh and the, the island was one of them. I mean the volcano was I mean I get it. You know, yeah. they needed some other, you know, obstacle to yeah. overcome. I get it. But it, know, it but... like threw you into the action right away with the whole sure. eruption and stuff. That, a lot of action in this movie. And, and the pacing of it, you know, they, they they got what they needed and they got there on the island, and then immediately stuff goes away and they're there. So what else that did you like? That was funny as hell what? when they when uh, Chris Pratt got shot. Oh. Hey, what are you? They tranquilized. No them. time for the BS. <laughs> Just shoot you, and you're done. Yeah, that was a lot great. of the time. There's too much talking, you know, and yeah, so they yeah. put them down. Right. That was so funny. I, and I appreciated that. We don't need all this banter, okay? We're right. here for a job. We're on this, this island with all these dangerous animals. We've got this volcano. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Let's go. Right. <laughs> that, I... And you know what? I This is a lot of action. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted to start this video with something uh, positive. Positive. Because we usually talk about things that are negative. Yeah. But there's a lot of positive things in here. You know, you get to see all kind of dinosaurs. I do like that. Yeah. Right. It wasn't just like, you know, we saw four... And it wasn't just like they started off with the uh, brontosaurus first. Right. No, it was out the gate action. Yeah. You know we are brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Uh, they, you know, they showed that. Mm -hmm. You know, but it wasn't thirty minutes until we got to see something awesome. No. And that's what I like. Right. You know, this is today's world. Where is the action? Yeah. This is why I'm here. We don't need all this discussion. We don't. We don't need all this political I stuff. I came for dinosaurs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't want two minutes of a dinosaur in a dark corner. Right, exactly, and and they delivered with that for sure. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite part, 
That's really a hard one. I guess. I guess when the guy's getting, he had his the the dinosaur. I guess a new raptor. I forget what the new raptor was called. Oh, the endo sor, uh, endo raptor. Endo. endo. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> they called it endo. I mean, I'm gonna go right to the song. Endo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, endo for show. Sure. Right. Right. When the endo raptor had the the dude in his. In his mouth, and he's like, "Oh, yeah, oh, right. that was so fast." Probably my favorite part of the movie. That was good. But all the people, all of the people that got their ass whooped or eaten or, yeah. or jacked up, right. that was all funny to me. Oh, and it was great. If you are new to the channel, if someone was getting <laughs> jacked up, beat up, shot up, smashed up, I'm laughing. And yeah. if I'm because it's impactful and it's just funny. It's a movie. Yeah, it's not real life. That was real life. is different. Yeah. But a movie, I can laugh at that. And yeah. if I'm not laughing at your action movie, it's not good. Yeah, right. And I'm I'm just like the only one in the whole theater. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Super serious stuff goes down, and then bah! <laughs> and you know what? It it makes me like open up and like <laughs> I cannot laugh at the same funny. time. It's just, it is funny. <laughs> It is funny. It's, it's like funny. a roller coaster to me. Like, yes, it is. it's scary, yeah. but sometimes I laugh on a roller coaster. I'm, just, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Right. You know, it, we don't have to be all serious. Yeah. Um, that was the, so every 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 part where people were getting jacked up was funny it, it, or it, good it, to it, me. It was pretty good. Yeah. And and there's a lot of that in this. You know. I like uh, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, he actually did not stutter or say. Uh, uh, chaos uh, uh, and uh, uh, the, the, the dinosaur. Right, he uh, read from the script. Right, or he memorized it. Right, which, whichever one. Because yeah. uh, usually he just sound like he's ad lib. So, ad -libbing so the, uh, the, the 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 nature has its say it way and <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and there was none of that. I mean, he was pretty fluid with it. Yeah. He was just pretty much telling the court, like you know, we got to let the dinosaurs die. They're that on the island. Was funny because like, I know how people in America love their animals, right. even fake ones. Yeah. So dinosaurs too, and I'm like, what? I mean, y'all the ones put them on the island. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Exactly. I mean, ain't like we going around and shooting them. No, not at all. Uh, this nature is taking its course. They bad. Leave them alone already. <laughs> yeah. What? What? I mean, what, what do you want me to do? Risk my life? No. On the volcano? On the active volcano? Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. But I'm not an animal lover. I like animals. Like my favorite animal is probably the killer whale. I love killer whales, mm. but I'm not like they're not that important. Like they was, a, <laughs> it's just it was just funny to me. They just not. I don't know. Write all your hate emails to him, <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine because I know people, you know, feel that way about animals. I'm just not that. I love people. People is my uh, my thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm 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 very much a dog person, but you I have mean, a dog. Uh, I did before. Oh, he's a dog person. Okay. Now, I mean, out of respect, Just because, kidding. I mean, I would want to spend time with that, and I can't right now because of all the time I don't have. All the people in your life. So, exactly. So, uh... Out of respect of the animals, I don't mess with them like that because I'm just going to mistreat them, and that's messed up to me. Um, and... Same thing goes with these dinosaurs. I mean, everybody's just, you know, trying to capitalize, and they talked about that. I like yeah, that, you yeah. know, like that they're just extorting them. So, it's like... How are you going to say that you care about them if you genetically modified them to make them and then you made one that doesn't even exist and then you're trying to benefit out of that too? Right. You were doing the same thing as me. Right. And uh, same thing with Chris Pratt's character. I mean, I, I did like a lot of the scenes that they showed with the mini raptors. They were so freaking adorable. Um, and he was training them. Uh, I love those parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the same thing goes with him. They were saying that you're kind of extorting them as well because, you know, they obviously don't exist they're not supposed to be here see i didn't agree with that point because i was just hired to do a job right you know i was hired to train the animals mm -hmm. you know i don't know what you're gonna do with them what i'm supposed to do no i'm not gonna work because you might turn my i don't know my progress into a weapon yeah no i mean that's not really his mentality he, he yeah he wasn't going he has no in control with, over that yeah bad <laughs> intentions he was going in with like okay i'm gonna research this animal now she Absolutely did. She absolutely did. Being that she greenlit the whole uh, what's the uh, endo raptor no, the, the, the one, one before the, one before. the killer bot <laughs> <laughs> the killer dino. It was an easy name too. I don't know why I'm forgetting it. But she authorized yeah. that 
the first, uh, I guess, genetically altered yeah. dinosaur. Mm-hmm. So, and it was for their benefits, for the park can make more money. Absolutely. So, yes, she was doing the same thing that sponsored, the main villain did. The dino, dinosaur, I remember, was sponsored by, like, Verizon or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Everything's all commercial there. Yeah, just slap a sticker on it. It's like NASCAR. <laughs> right. Exactly. Or, uh, oh, that was going to say UFC, but never uh, mind. NASCAR. Just, they're no longer doing that. Oh, uh, yeah. Which I think true. is messed up. It is messed up. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? There were some cliches that were very disappointing. Yeah. Um, like when they knocked the switch to the elevator. Absolutely. With the dinosaur tail. Right, and, and it, like and turned it, around, smacked it, and then it reopened the door. Reopened the door? What? What are we doing? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's just lazy. That's not how electronics work. Not at all. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> no one does that. What are you, a caveman? Right. So when the elevator door shut, yeah. that's it. Unless the, the, he knows the code. Yeah. Now, now. He smacked it in the right order. That'd have been deep. Blah, blah, blah. If oh. he'd have been like, because it did show him like opening the door like very gently. I'd have been like, dude, that that'd have been tight. Give me that. That's more believable it, it than the is. goddamn switch breaking and open up the elevator. Right. When does that ever happen? Never. 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 Never in the history of electronics has it happened. So one thing that we talk about uh, in these movies are the um, hero and villain. Right, right, right. And they straight up just scooby doo this because <laughs> the dude that hired them was the bad guy. And, I mean, it's the same thing over again that we see. And we just saw Incredibles 2, so it's pretty much the same thing going on, you know? Hire hire the hero. It's a little different, because he actually needed them. He did need them, but, again, he he needed them. I don't know why, though, but... To sell them, to to sell the dinosaurs. Well, because they hired her to, I guess, get the black guy. They needed her fingerprint. They needed They needed the, the black guy to hack. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they needed Chris, Chris Pratt, Pratt to, to get blue, yeah, to get the raptor. Um, but I felt like they didn't need any of that. Um, you trying to tell me that they don't have any backup security to get on the park? They should. Yeah. Uh, you trying to tell me that no one can hack besides this kid? Uh, you trying to tell me that no one can track besides Chris Pratt? No, lazy. It, it, it is lazy. It's straight up lazy, man. But at least they had an actual purpose. They weren't trying to like seem like they were getting away with something. Right. No. They just needed them to do something. Absolutely. And then they were uh, disposable after that. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I feel your point though. They it, we did get Scooby Doo a little bit. Overall, they're the villain. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, did you think he was a good villain as far as like how he acted? Um, kind of, you know, he, he was kind of a, a weasel in, in the sense of being a villain, you know, like he, he was a little punk and, um, he did kill, uh, the old man, put a pillow on his head, but they didn't really show that. It was just insinuated that he did. Yeah. I'm like, is this rated PG-13? It's like, kids are not going to know what I'm doing with this pillow. (laughs) (laughs) That's another thing. It was like the little bit of details that made no freaking sense. Why is the phone on the damn pillow on the nightstand or on some other table or whatever? Why is it on the pillow? Mm-hmm. You didn't put it there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just weird. It's little weird little detail. That's why I said that if you're coming to this movie yeah. as a thinker, mm-hmm. you're going to be disappointed. Like, why are they doing that? And why did the little girl run to her bed? I mean, she was doing all this elaborate thing, like picking the lock to get outside and then going <laughs> in the window and running all over the place. But then when she's running away from the dinosaur, she goes back to her room and hides under the covers. I'm, I'm feeling you. I feel you with that 100%. Like, you're smarter than this little girl. But, benefit of the doubt, she was scared. When you're scared, you do silly scared. stuff. She was scared. At least hide under the bed. I mean... Yeah. There was like, a lot of things that, that, you know, they just didn't want to stay put. And to me, if I got a safe place, mm-hmm. I'm staying put. Oh, yeah. Why do you keep leaving the damn hiding spots? They, he can't find you. Yeah. Now you're going to go back downstairs to into the display area mm-hmm. where you can see your ass through the glass. Right. Why? Just be in a little room and he can't find you. Maybe they'll think we're a dinosaur. Just act like a dinosaur. Like, ah. <laughs> he was ah. on their ass as soon as the lights came on. Oh, yeah. There was no hiding. He's like, if these guys turn on the light. Yep, that's him. Right. Chomp. Right. Um. Oh, you just said something that made me think of something that I wanted to say, but now I seem to have forgotten. The Scooby-Doo. Uh, we got the Scooby-Doo. We got the Scooby-Doo. We got the little girl. 
Uh, we got. Uh, oh, you know what? There was that's what I want to talk about. There's a there was a lot of things that gave homage to the original. Yeah. Um, like mm-hmm. when the the lady was like, "Run!" You know, that reminded me of the first Jurassic Park when she um, mm-hmm. tells. Uh, I don't know his name. What is the man's name? Um, the the main guy, Hammond. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Tells Hammond. <clears throat> To run or John run, yeah, John, John run. There yeah, was yeah. a scene where she said it. She was limping, kind of right. For, um, like sonically, like the same. Like it sounded like she was trying to mimic that. So it sounded like it was a homage to the, the first. Yeah, and opening up the doors. Right. Uh, that was another homage. Even just having like. this other old man. But you know what? One thing I really like. Wish I would have said that on the other video, but it. So okay, full disclosure. I have nightmares. Still, as an adult, not all, oh. not often, but they do happen. You know, maybe every few years, and a oh, recurring more. nightmare <laughs> is dinosaurs oh. coming to my home, opening up the doors and chasing me in my own house. That they made my there nightmare you know. come to life because they're running down oh, the hallway. Man, that sucks. <laughs> It's super <laughs> sucks. I'm like, oh, shit. This is not funny anymore. <laughs> They're just going to add to it. <laughs> yes. I'm sleeping in my bed. And dinosaur. I hope I don't have up a, in the window. I hope I don't have a nightmare tonight. But oh, man. it did make my nightmare come to life. Yeah. Because, you know, in, in part two, um, Jurassic Park part two, you know, they do come to the city or whatever. But it's not like it's intimate where they're chasing you through the house. Right. They're just kind of on the streets. You know, maybe in the backyard. Yeah. But they're not in the house. Mm-hmm. This one, we're in the house being chased. And to me, it kind of made me a little, little, little scared. You know, like, oh, snap, this is, this this is what is, I dream about. This is, <laughs> this is not for real. I mean, this ain't happening. <laughs> I'm just yeah. in a movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. So I did appreciate that. There was a lot of things yeah. that they did well. Absolutely. Some things... Not as much, right? But that's okay, because like because I came for some action, right? I came for teeth, <laughs> I came, <laughs> I came for people getting jacked up, and I got that. Yeah, you know, so that's Absolutely. all I could really hope for. Uh, besides, yeah. you know, a good movie. So the director has gotten a little flat because he made that movie, um, the independent film that he made, that no one liked, so he got fired from part nine of oh, wow. Star Wars. Okay. And you didn't hear about that? No. Yeah, the director, he had part nine okay. for Star Wars. Uh-huh. And then he came out with an independent film. Oh, man. Let's see if I can find it real quick. It was an independent film. Hmm. And uh, it sucked. <laughs> it super sucked. I actually didn't watch it. It's like, but yeah, we're not going to. We're everyone, going in a different direction. Exactly. Everyone said that it sucked. So then when, uh, I guess. Lucasfilm heard about it. They're like, uh, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> but we won't be able to go forward with this relationship. Right. And cut him. So he did get a lot of flack for for that. But I just felt like, um, he. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what's what is the? Ah, they probably not even gonna show it real quick. I thought I was gonna be able to show it or see it real quick. Uh. Or maybe this is not the same director? Probably not, I don't know. Jurassic World, oh. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Actually, we'll just go ahead and cut that out because that's not true. I thought he got, I thought he directed that one. <laughs> Glad it's not live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fake news. <clears throat> I know, right? Hmm. Oh. Now, the graphics. I thought were just okay. Okay. They weren't anything that was any better than Jurassic Park 1. It seemed yeah, actually pretty similar. I would have liked some animatronics, actually. Why can't we use that, man? I, I really like it. I dig it. It, it. it really adds more to the flavor of the movie. You can see, like, even the acting, um, as far as the actors being in front of, like, a robot. It's, right. like, you know, tangible, you know? And then they can mix in some CG with it. I mean, that, that's perfectly fine. But I, I, I greatly appreciate those, you know, dinosaur robots. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't beat the real thing, you know what I'm saying? And to me, it makes... If the actors can see something, I feel like it brings it out more yeah. than if they're just in a green screen with some dude, you know, doing right, that. Exactly. You know, like, yeah. no, we want to, you got to get that feeling. And right. that's another thing. I didn't really feel like anyone was that afraid. Yeah. You know, the, I, there, there, there was a lot of things that I didn't feel as impactful. Like, <clears throat> the volcano's blowing up, and they, they're keeping their cool. They're just like, they're like jogging. Boosh, and they're like. I'm like, if you, don't, if you don't hurry up and go. Yeah. <laughs> like, like th- there was like a shock wave of the volcano, but to me it wasn't that impactful. You know no, what I'm saying? Not. Just like a lot of action movies that we see nowadays and there's like a gunshot or something like that and it's just like, Pah! but some of them are just like, Pah! and right, like right, very mechanical right. and, you the know. Impact yeah. It, it just wasn't all there. Um, but, I mean, the CG for me, it, it was pretty cool. It was cool to see the volcano blow up and the dinosaurs running. I don't know, but I feel like we've seen... I don't know, they didn't do anything different, you know? I liked the movie, but it wasn't, like, a remnant of 2018. Like, if we mm. see this... If you compare this to the first one, you're like, oh, they must have shot this the very next year. Oh, man. The you first know? one, like, it, it, it was terrifying for so many reasons, you know? I mean, we got, like... The, that, that first scene when the T-Rex comes out, I mean, it was ridiculous, you know? The kids are frightened... And there's like rain and mud, and right. it's just like it's terrifying. And in this one, I mean, there's so many dinosaurs and the T Rex around them, and they're not freaking out that ma- that much. You know what? Another thing I thought of, I thought about um, was that the T Rex seemed to um, be able to see. Now, every year they update science whether or not the T Rex could see if you moved or not. Whatever you want to go with, in the movie. Yeah. He can't see you if you stand still. In the very beginning, Mm -hmm. the dude is standing still, and T-Rex definitely sees him. Mm -hmm. Because it's not like he was making so much noise. He was bending bending down. He was on the little thing. He was talking a little bit, but it was raining and stuff like that. He shouldn't be able to hear him that well. T-Rex is honing in on him like he's seen him from a distance. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of bothered me a little bit, because it's things that that were set up. You right. know, in this Ooh. Jurassic Park universe. Yeah. If it's wrong, fine. Yeah. But at least explain that. Yeah. Like, oh, what we actually found was when we recreated him, he actually could see something, but they didn't. Yeah. And it's like, okay, we broke that rule. There's right. a, lot of, a lot of little things that, to me, need some, you know, stitching. Need right. some stitching up to, to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but overall, I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, I, I don't want to, I'm not going to bash it. I just want to talk about some things, you know, because... We just, that's how, we like to talk, okay? Yeah. So, that's what we're doing. Having we, a saw, we saw this movie. Right. Um, let us know what you guys think. Is in, did you guys think that maybe there should have been more, like, details or more things that kind of added up or made sense? Or was it just like, or did, or did the things that didn't make sense just took you way out of the movie? Yeah. Let us know what you think. Um, I will comment and say yes, I concur. Or mm-hmm. if you're disagreeing with us, I'll let you know you're wrong, okay? Yeah. Um, I don't mind. I like interacting with fans, haters or not. <laughs> I will interact with you. I have no problem. Uh, we're just one big community, okay? All right, so that's our review, guys. Let us know what you thought. Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Pwned Pops, P W N E D P O P S. Maybe some custom figures. Oh, it's too far for me to get one. It's all good. Check it out. <laughs> right. You know where to go. And you can find me on the Break Room Blitz on all the social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Well, all the main social medias, anyway. Yeah, um, yeah check out all the stuff that we do, guys. And we're out. Peace. Peace. I gotta fucking edit.